dance is part of who I am, it's in my DNA, it's part of my calling, it is my purpose. My name is Alicia Graf Mack and I'm the Dean and Director of Dance at the Juilliard School. I think I was actually dancing in the womb. Grocery store aisles were the best places to dance. The um, freedom of space made me want to move. So I've held on to those feelings throughout my entire life and I'm really blessed that I can continue to pass on that love and that passion to college age students. So I grew up in Columbia, Maryland, which is right between Baltimore and Washington. So growing up, I was exposed to so much art, so much dance, so much culture. And then when I was 17, I moved to Harlem to start my career with Dance Theater of Harlem. And I remember turning on Hot 97 and hearing Hot 97 blasting through people's, you know, car radios and all throughout 125 as I was heading up to work from where I lived in Harlem. I was hired by Arthur Mitchell to join the Dance Theater of Harlem as a professional ballerina. When I stepped into Dance Theater of Harlem for the first time, I knew I belonged there. I looked around at all the beautiful ballerinas at the bar who looked like me, and it was like ballet Wakanda. Different body types, different beautiful colors of brown. That was a very rich environment for me to live and grow in, and Arthur Mitchell passed on all the bits of knowledge he had that we represent something larger than ourselves. There were companies that I thought maybe I would love to dance for, but the most important thing is I always wanted to feel a sense of belonging wherever I was. I didn't want to have to prove myself and because of my race or my height. I just wanted to feel like I could express who I am through the dancing that they were asking me to do. I actually landed in one of my dream companies. The Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater is a company whose mission is all about showing the world the brilliance of black people and black culture and what we can do and whose hearts we can lift and change through the power of dance. The Juilliard has such a renowned history, legacy, and tradition. Part of my vision and mission is to shift the atmosphere. I hope to be the person that makes the soil rich for them, to be able to grow in many ways that are unexpected. And I want to be the person that they can come to when they have things to celebrate and when they have uh, challenges and things to solve. My greatest dance partner, colleague, is actually my younger sister, Daisha Graf. She's a dancer, an actor, a singer, and she also is a fitness guru. I've lived in the concert dance world, um, performing for ballet and modern dance companies, and she's lived in the commercial dance world. So she's toured with Rihanna and danced for TLC and so many other incredible artists. And sometimes we'd walk down the street together in New York City and young people would come up to us and just ask us questions. Specifically, dancers of color were hungry for mentorship. So we started DNA Arts Collective together. We hosted many different workshops and master classes and we hope to continue to do so in the future. Being here at Juilliard, I'm so privileged to have conversations with Justin Peck and uh, Judith Jamison. Hope Boykin and Carmen Zalavalad, who is my mentor. And I want to share those conversations with the world because they have inspired my life in so many ways. And I think that's part of the legacy of dance. It's so ephemeral. It's not something you can hold on to. We need to keep their legacies alive by sharing their stories, by being that um, griot, if you will, and continuing their legacy forward.